be a quick video on some of the changes. Creating field and the boundary and all that is all the same. Create the boundary now on the outside of the field. And what's new is headlands. You can set how many headlands you want widths, or sorry, how many tool widths you want for the headland to be made. And you want to choose three. It tells you the area inside that you still have to do. You can save it. Um, the auto turn now is all on this tab control page. You can configure it. You can choose whatever you want. Custom, record a new one. And But this is always accessible. And here you turn before 10 meters before the headland. So you just turn it on and away you go. This little bit of green in this arrow tells you it's going to turn left. And again, you can uh, you can adjust these headlands kind of anytime you want. So there now it's going to make a left turn. If you wanted to stop it, you could stop it here. You can adjust the distance before and after. So we 10 meters before it starts to turn on that line. Change the buttons. There's buttons here now. This is snap. There's no longer buttons under here. And guys, the tablets, it's just too short. So you can put more stuff up here. Um, the overhead view is still here. It shows you the headland, the perimeter, AV line, and where you are and where it's uh, um, applying. Rate control is the same. And your configuration is all here. Uh, thanks, Benjamin, for telling me to go back to this because I just, the other way was stupid. But uh, the GPS simulator, make sure with this new version you also download the, or the simulator is part of the AgOpen GPS um, GitHub, but it's very different. The AgOpen GPS, you can set the IP and port and port of the steer sim, what this is and 8888 is the is the auto steer port and uh, 9999 always has been ag open gps if you make it 255 then it's a broadcast and then you don't need to care or you don't need to put in what uh what the ip address is this is all new ethernet separated out from um, ports ports is just usb ports now and that's it but UDP, uh, you can. This is automatically discovered. What uh, what your IP address is? Again, Ag Open GPS server is 9999. Auto steer module is 888. Rate control 777. Um, and this is just for Ethernet. Um, if you're not using Ethernet for communicating to modules, just use the USB. And again, just set everything to whatever your network is. If it's dot two or who knows what just set it accordingly but your last digits go 255 and it just broadcasts on the network of UDP so I hope that's good and confusing <laughs> and this guy just zip up to here you can see the it's listening to Ag Open GPS that's the beauty of Ethernet so then it can just control the the GPS simulator now and do all your auto steer stuff so anything you can do in the field now you can do here and yeah, that's uh, that's about it. The, the headland thing um, with the iTech Pro, they use headlands, and I can sure see why. You can time for stuff coming and uh, also leaving the headland. So if you wanted to lift the implement, say at you know just the start of the point or whatever, then you can do that. And the same with coming back onto the headland, you can time anything you want. You can turn stuff on, you can turn four-wheel drive off, you can lift the implement, you can even just turn sections off and on. You wouldn't even need section control, and you just base it on the headland. Okay, just a quick thing on these buttons. Um, just hitting it will make you turn. Whip around the corner. And you cancel any time by hitting anything that's lit yellow and, and actually in the action, you just hit it and it'll cancel it. I'm going to go the other way, you can do that. Um, let's whip around here. And in the auto turn, you kind of have another choice. Now you know that because this is green, it's going to head that way. Okay, so now 
you know that it's going to turn that way. But if you hit this one, the direction that it's turning, it'll cancel it. If you actually want to turn the other way, then you just hit that on the auto turn before you get there. And again, just to cancel it, you just hit it. So now, if you want to turn that way, you can just do that. Of course, now that you've canceled the auto turn, it's not going to re-engage. Well, auto turn kind of has to do that. Because we're, otherwise, where do you start? So whip to the other end here. And now again, we know we're going to make a left turn. And if we want, eh, just cancel it. And then you go drive into the trees. <laughs>